Thank you for choosing LawRuler. We're glad you're here. LawRuler is the ultimate legal practice management and intake software for plaintiff firms, and it comes preloaded with a free robot that will make your team look awesome and automate a lot of things at your firm that will impress your clients. Let's go ahead and get started with our guided tour. When you first log into LawRuler, you'll be on the home page. This is also known as the inbox. At the very top of every page in LawRuler is our global search feature. This will allow you to do a quick search of all the leads in your portal. You could search by name, by number, by email address, or by lead ID. If you ever need to get a little bit more granular with your searches, you can always utilize the advanced search feature located here on the left side navigation window. Below the global search and at the top of the page are two windows. On the left side is the My Tasks window. Here you can see any tasks that are currently assigned to you. You can filter through those tasks by due date and time. You can add new tasks for yourself by clicking on the Add Tasks button and completing the task form. On the right side of the page is the Recent Activity. Think of this as like your Law Ruler news feed. It's where any activity that's taken place in the portal is going to be displayed. You can search through the Recent Activity. You can filter it by case type. You can see different users' activity, different firms, as well as different statuses in the system. Tasks and the Recent Activity are both global in this view. So just remember, inside of each lead, there's also going to be a My Tasks section and a Recent Activity that's going to be specific to Below the Recent Activity in My Tasks is the Law Ruler Inbox. This is where all of your leads and cases will be displayed. You can click on any of the names on the list to open up the intake details of that lead. Within the Inbox, you can utilize the search functionality if you need to quickly pull up any information in the inbox as well. And another really great feature in the inbox is using these different filters that can be applied to your inbox so that only the relevant information that you're looking for is going to be displayed. And you can always add filters for case type, for lead source, different tags in the system. You can filter by status as well, by firm, assignee, or owner. And any one of these filters that you're going to apply if you're regularly going to be using that filter, you can always navigate down to the bottom of the filters menu. You can save the name of these criteria that you've applied. So we can call this sample. And we'll go ahead and save that. And that way, if you ever need to reapply those filters, rather than having to select them over again, you can always go down to this navigation menu right here, select sample, and it will automatically apply those filters that you've just selected need to remove those filters, you can select the filters button, navigate back down to the saved criteria menu, and choose select, and that will automatically remove those filters and you'll see the entire inbox again. Aside from filtering your inbox or using the search feature, another really great feature within the inbox is the ability to add a note inside of a lead or intake. So just click on this yellow note icon that's going to open up our note editor. This will allow you to create a note specifically for this lead. Another great feature within the notes is the ability to tag other users in the system um, with the contents of this note. So if you hit the at symbol, it's going to pull up a list of any other users that are in the system. We're going to select another one of those users. And when you hit submit, what this is going to do is generate an email over to that user with the contents of this note. So it's going to add the note inside of the intake, as well as send an email with the contents of the note to whoever has been tagged. So think of this as a great way to collaborate with other members of your team, and can also be used if you want to alert other members of the team of specific information about your potential lead. One of the many benefits of LawRuler is that the software can easily be integrated with a wide array of other softwares, allowing lead vendors and marketers to automatically post information to the system. Anytime a new lead comes into the system, the portal will generate an email that a new lead has been created in LawRuler and needs to be worked on. There are circumstances, however, where you may need to manually enter a new lead into the portal. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through manually creating a new lead in LawRuler. In order to create a new intake in LawRuler, we're going to navigate to the new intake icon on the left side navigation menu. This is going to open up our new intake wizard. From here, we're going to select from a number of these dropdowns to create a intake for our contact. So first thing we'll do is select a case type for this new intake. We can select a status. Remember, the system always defaults 
new leads to the new lead status. We can select a marketing source. And finally, we have the option to choose an assignee or leave this one unassigned. Law Ruler is capable of handling multiple matters for one client. So if you know that this is a previously existing client, you can always type their name into the search bar. And if it's any one of these contacts, you can always select their name from the list. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're actually going to create a new contact. So we'll navigate to the Create New Contact button here, located on the bottom left side of the page. That's going to open up our contact card. Here we're going to fill out the contact card with all of the appropriate contact information. So I can enter in a name, first name, last name. And remember, any of the fields that have an asterisk are going to be required to enter information into. I can enter in a phone number, and I can also enter in a email address. And for this demonstration as well, I'm also going to enter in a birthday. So we have... Once you've entered all the information in the contact card, we'll go ahead and click Save. And now you're going to see the contact is displayed here on the right side of the page. So once we see the contact card displayed, we can go ahead and click Create Intake in order to create a new intake in Law Ruler. Once the new intake has been created, you'll see that we'll be taken to the Intake Details page. This is where all of the details related to this specific intake can be found. And there's a couple of features and functionalities to be aware of. So number one, you can always change the case type, the marketing source, the status, or the lead assignee, all from the Intake Details page. Also, what can be done is from the contact information side of the Intake Details page, you can actually reach out directly to your client. So if you need to send them a text message, you can click on the green SMS icon. That's going to open up a SMS editor. Once you've entered in the content of your text, you can go ahead and click the blue paper airplane icon, and that's going to send that text message over to your new intake. You also have the ability to send an email directly to your intake, so just click on that envelope icon that's going to open up our Compose email screen. And we have our full HTML editor here, so you can send you know, any fully formatted email. You can also include your signature in that email as well, and that can all be up updated in the user settings. Once the new intake has been created in the system, you'll be free to complete the intake form and that's located right here in the intake slash case info tab. Just remember the type of case is going to determine which specific intake form you're going to fill out for your potential lead. Once we know the appropriate case type, we can click intake slash case info. That will automatically bring us down to the bottom of the page, and here we can actually see the intake form for this specific case type. Ideally, you'd want to have the client on the phone while you're completing the intake form, and so you'll be collecting all of these answers for the, your client. Once the intake form has been completed, you can always create a note, and you can tag any other users within the contents of that note that the intake form has been completed. So we can go ahead and select another user, and we can say this intake is complete and needs to be reviewed. So at this point, this is going to generate an email to whoever we've selected. So if this is an attorney at your firm, you can go ahead and copy them with the contents of this note, and then they can go ahead and be notified to review the intake form. Once the intake has been completed, aside from adding any additional notes that you would need related to this intake, you can also navigate to the Documents tab here on top and there you can upload any documents that are going to be relevant to this particular client. And you can just go ahead, select Upload File, and drag and drop any documents that you need to um, directly into the document management system of Law Ruler. Other than any required documents, also any tasks associated with this intake are all going to be listed under the Tasks tab right here. Just remember that these tasks are going to be specific to this intake, any tasks that you see in the inbox view, those are going to be a global view of all the tasks that are currently open in the system. Any email correspondence that is sent to the intake through Law Ruler can be found in the Emails tab. You can also compose emails to go out to the lead directly from this section by clicking the Compose Email button. 
LawRuler also has a two-way sync with Microsoft Outlook, allowing any correspondence that is sent from LawRuler to be displayed in your Outlook inbox. If you have synced your email, you can even reply to threads in Outlook and the emails will automatically be populated in the Emails tab of this specific lead. Finally, any activity that you need to view regarding the specific intake can all be found in the audit log here. This is basically the same thing as the activity feed, but this is going to be specific to this lead. And remember, whichever tab you're currently on, on the top, you can always scroll up and that will take you directly back to the intake details page. Once the intake form is completed, notes, emails, and documents are reviewed and the lead has been qualified, you can trigger an electronic contract to the lead in order to retain them with your firm. To trigger the e-sign agreement, you'll click the e-sign tab located on the top of the intake details. That will take you down to an e-sign document section where you'll be able to see any retainers that can potentially be sent out to that client. From here, we'll click Select Recipients, and that's going to give us several options for having this e-sign agreement signed. We have the option to send the e-sign agreement. We can send it via email, via SMS text, or both. As soon as the client signs the agreement, they'll also receive a copy of that signed agreement in their email or their, a link to their mobile device as well. If you have the client in your office, you actually have the option to have them sign the agreement immediately. Now that I'm back in the intake details, I can see that the status of my lead has automatically changed to send e-sign as soon as I triggered that e-sign agreement out to them. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick refresh and we'll see that the status automatically updates to signed e-sign as soon as that signed agreement comes back into the portal. Now that the retainer has been signed and this client has been retained by the firm, we can navigate down to the bottom of the intake details tab and from here we can actually convert this intake into a case by clicking the make a case button and we can continue to manage this case in law ruler practice management. So now that once your intake has been retained and they've signed their e-sign agreement, we can go ahead and navigate down towards the bottom of the page where we have our make a case button. I'm going to go ahead and click that. The system is going to ask us to confirm that we want to convert this lead to a case. We're going to click OK. And now we, what we've done is we've actually converted this intake now from an intake to an actual case. In Law Ruler Cases module, there's a couple of additional features that you can take advantage of once you've converted it to a case. Um, most importantly are a lot of the billing features that we've built into Law Ruler Cases module. Now that our lead has been converted to a case in Law Ruler, what we're going to do is start creating some expenses and time entries that we can track. So first thing we'll do is we'll navigate to the top, create a new time entry. We're going to click that. Now you have a couple of options for adding your time entry. You can add it manually if you need to or you can actually use the built-in timer to track the time for your time entry. So we'll go ahead and click Start. You'll see the timer is going to start counting down, and you have full control over the rounding of your different time entries. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a type for the time entry, and it doesn't really matter what page of Law Ruler you're on, as long as the timer is going, it will continue to follow you on any of those pages. You can even pause it if you need to step away for a minute and resume it as soon as you're back on the page. Now that our time entry has been counting down, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click the stop button. And what that's going to do is generate our time entry in the system. So we can see we have a time entry here. We'll go ahead and enter in our hourly rate. This is something, by the way, that you can set up in advance so that you're always going to default to a specific hourly rate if that's something that you need to do. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click save. And that's going to automatically create this time entry inside of the portal. Now that we have our time entry created, we'll go ahead and close this page. And up at the top banner, we're going to go ahead and add an expense to this case. So we'll click Expenses from that top banner. And here we'll navigate to the Add Expense button. This is going to allow us to add an expense onto this case. Um, Law Ruler does allow you to add different types of costs. So we have hard costs, which are costs that the firm pays out to a third party. We have soft costs, which are costs that the firm pays for on behalf of the client as well as all these other different types of settlement costs that are going to be held for the eventual settlement. What we'll do is we're just going to select a soft cost. Let's do the firm. We're going to enter in an amount build. We're going to choose a category for that soft cost. So we'll say administration, and we'll go ahead and create that expense inside of Law Ruler. So now that we have an expense as well as a time entry set up inside of Law Ruler, we'll navigate back to the top of the page, and using our shortcuts button, we'll go ahead and create an invoice 
for these expenses and time entries that we just created. So I'm going to select new invoice. Here the client is going to be defaulted to the new invoice creation screen, also the case that we're working with. We can choose a date range where we want to pull expenses or time entries from. We're just going to leave it on any for now. And then from here you can actually set which types of expenses we want to appear on our invoice. Since we've only added a time entry and a soft cost, we're just going to go ahead and select those. And we're going to click the Create and View button, which will allow us to open up the invoice in draft mode. Now that we have our invoice available in draft mode, we're going to go ahead and just review the invoice, make sure everything looks good. If we need to remove any items from the invoice, we have the ability to do so. We can also edit the amounts that we're going to charge for the different time entries and expenses as well. Once everything on the invoice looks good, we're going to go ahead, we're going to click save in email. You do have some other options. You can save in email, save in text, save in close, or just save. We're going to save in email so that the invoice goes out to my email and I can show you what it looks like when the client receives the invoice. So I'm just going to go ahead and click send. Before I do send the invoice, the system is going to ask us to confirm that we want to convert the invoice from draft mode to a real invoice. Just keep in mind, once you convert it, you're not going to be able to make any further changes on this invoice. So now that I've converted it to a real invoice, I'm going to go ahead and open that in my inbox and we'll take a look at what the invoice looks like on the client side. So now that the invoice was sent, I'm going to go ahead and open it up in my email and I do see that I have a PDF attachment of the invoice and I can also view the invoice directly from my email. I'm going to go ahead and click the view invoice option. This is going to pull up the invoice itself um, and now since we do have a full integration with LawPay, I can actually go ahead and just pay that invoice using my credit card. So I'm going to select pay now. I'm going to choose to pay with my credit card and I'm going to go ahead and enter in my information into the payment form and that's going to allow me to pay the invoice. Success! Now the invoice has been successfully paid um, using our LawPay integration. As always, thank you for choosing LawRuler. If you have any support questions, we're here to help. You're welcome to contact us via email at support at lawruler.com and you can also access our online support form located at support.lawruler.com. If you ever need done-for-you consulting, it is billed hourly and available for you, so please inquire whenever you need our expert team to do something on your behalf.